Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k uh, Rogue Traders. Yes, that's what we're playing. Time for us to continue our exploration. Just uh, double checking the overall map. As we are still trying to get to the Drukhari that challenged us, but we're at Pillars of Verdiais and then Crossroads of the Hundred Dreams will be next. From here, we're going to here and here into Pelium Solaris and then we're finally making our way over there but we're not done yet so let's continue with the other stars I still want more excavation material which is a bit of a problem good plat steel seven that's awesome but not uh, for us. Anyways, the augurs have detected the remains of an ancient mining ship that crashed into the planet. It looks like it's carrying equipment and sled settlers for a new mining site. Searching the ship might prove useful, but it carries certain risks. Conduct the search. Uh, retrieve the surviving extractium from under the debris. They suffered no losses and returned to the ship. Fantastic. That means we got, like what? One extractium? Yeah, but not for plat steel. I would love to get mechanics and Xenotech is also super valuable since we don't have a lot yet. Only got one extraction. That's not a lot. So here we had provisions, down here we had Prometheum, which both of them were actually okay with. Let's first of all take our warp travel, go there, chart a couple new routes and maybe we're finding something else. I mean there are plenty of planets to extract from. So shouldn't take the very first option that we have. See here for instance we got Flogstone. We don't have a lot of uh, that. Ah, moderate amounts, but two is not that much. And unfortunately there is a limitation for the extractors. I would love to have much more of them. Six Prometheum, that is not bad at all. Would get us all the way up to um, 19 here. But I'm still hoping for mechanisms or for Xenotag because or for Adamantine all three of them are val uh, valuable it's crazy right because wait 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 oh shrine is still building got you I wonder uh, if we ever get more of these projects, right? Because Dark Sages is blocked. Capella Bi Biologist we already got. This here is blocked. And this here is blocked as well. Hmm. That's a bit strange, man. Maybe there are more projects coming up over time. Yeah. 
Maybe there are more projects coming up over time, but this is very, very unfortunate because there seem to be more there seems to be more space, but maybe I did something wrong. Nothing. Alright, time for space battle. You are facing Chaos Warshippers. It seems their ships have been lying here. The Voxmaster reports incoming uh, transmissions. Do not negotiate with heretics. Chaos Warshippers. Nope. That's not happening. Xenos. Different, um, different state of affairs, but Chaos, there is absolutely nothing positive that could theoretically come out of that. I can see crimson lights in the void. Oh nice, we got another partnership. I wonder, do we always have these now? Uh oh, murder class cruiser. That thing has 105 shields. And two infidel class raiders. Not good. Well, scout this out. Put a couple of torpedoes in. Chart a course. Make sure that you guys are turning the wrong direction. Fantastic hit. Can't jump that much forward. It's unfortunate. Not sure why we cannot hit, but okay. And... I think we're just staying where we are. Frontal shields. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Wow. Smite the enemies of humanity. Fantastic, that broke their shield finally. What's happening here with Unforgiven? Internal fires. Ship suffers from damage each round. Don't like it. That cruiser needs to die. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Micro cannons. Let the Empyrean guide us. All right, we're shooting forward. Uh, shields to the back. And... Let's severely hope that our vessel here survives this. Another notch on the macro cannon. The explosion has just killed them. Nice.
chart a course. Send their torpedoes launched. To the void. We're jumping right behind them and left shields are being supported. A breach in the enemy shield has been revealed. Not good. Steer us to our target. Almost there. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Yeah, I can't hit them. That's unfortunate. Fighters. Almost down. Torpedoes now. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Let the Imperium turn the ship around. Emblazon our path. Let destruction pour forth. And that should be and it, right? Nice. This sacrifice. Um, I think we got a nice little engine out of that. I don't like low acceleration and braking. That's not good. I'd rather stay with high acceleration and braking and we got another upgrade. So uh focused effort sounds good. Cooldown reduction is important. And what do we have? Repairing the void ship requires 50% less scrap. That is great. When approaching an enemy, as a result, most enco uh, encounters are surprised and act later. Okay. When using a post ability, 20% chance uh, with shorter cooldown. Okay, I like that. Now nah, I think we're taking rock repairs. That seems super good. Okay, well, we upgraded most of the abilities. Uh, focused effort seems to be one that can be upgraded as well. Uh, no problem with that. And we freed that ocean world. We got uh, we got a really good um, combat vessel for uh, for space combat. I feel that with all of the um, additional abilities, we are able to hold our ground very, very nicely. Okay, we haven't been over here, but that I think we would want to do next. Um, first, let's go right here. 
Currently, Falstone has begun a no new stage of development. The vessel confesses report a discount among the flock. Um, let's try sanctifying all members with the void ship. Unfortunately, that did not work out. Okay, but we Janus has now finally uh, got the next stage. An incredible find has been made on Foulstone, Lord Captain. A lost volume on St. Keeve's lost diary has been found during uh, the restoration of his crypt. According to his records, the member of the Order of the Hammer were able to find a crypt or ark containing the relic of St. Cogliatos. Uh, Keeve's writing are vague. Okay, claiming a treasure. There is a heated dispute going on for days. Let's use logic. After some preparation, the explora uh, explorators um, presented several pieces of evidence to support their claim. Most convincing uh, of them being the sacred blueprints of parts similar to the crucible. By the end of the speech, most were fully convinced that the Order of the Hammers Relict indeed is Archaeotech. Um, protests from the dissatisfied minority called um, the Empress argument was ignored. The monks continue to lament the outcome of the deliberation long after it has, has ended. Uh, heated debates were held regarding the crucible unjustly entrusted into the text priest's care. Research into the crucible has identified uh, it is a device for surface transforming Fueled by governmental energy of the planet, it could turn wasteland into blooming gardens. Alright, so we got the Hammer of Epiphany. Which we're going to see in a second. And that was the big level 3 project here on Foulstone. Genos is said to be in a new phase of pro uh, projects, or maybe I have misread that and it really was Foulstone. But even for Foulstone, right, we're not having any options here because the ones that we cannot take are just literally blocked. Good. As for the hammer, the hammer deals a little bit more damage. Hmm. And there is a nice servitor around him. The Hammer of Epiphany. I like it. Alright, let me level up uh, the characters real quick. Alright, problem solved. So... Let's continue to make this here very much travelable. Still want to get these guys. Archelites of the Cold Mechanicals have reported disturbing incidents. All Vox systems in the Middle East started broadcasting otherworldly sounds. And look at that. Fantastic. Let's start to visit the first planet. We got all three of them available. And somewhere this Drukari bitch is hiding. Two provisions, not good enough for us to to actually use our only excavator.
Very good. At least the formation stays for once. Nothing escapes my sight. I I did it. You hear a strange sound that reminds you of dripping water in the clattering something it sharp against the metal. Power. Serving the Inquisition means peering into the secrets of humanity. A thick diary firms. filled with entries written in neat, precise handwriting. Too deeply, interrogator. Fear is the enemy of duty. Anyone who cannot overcome this weakness does not last long in the Holy Inquisition. My house would be proud the ventilation system still works. There is a strange gorgeous on the metal, like claw marks. The Emperor favors me today. Collecting a couple of goods, and we're Gucci. The world will bow. Before we proceed on, let's take a look behind here. Powers unseen uncover my path. Experience. Nothing matters more. Wow, that's a good treasure. Intriguing. But it was a difficult My athletic check. Reveals something. Metal box was brutally forced open. The world trembles beneath my feet. There is a Vox Cleric. Let's just double check that we have not overlooked anything. The Vox Cleric very much looks like there's going to be the I fight here. Path unexplored. Uh, in the light of the distant stars, our Emperor Prognator wanders warily with thoughts of visitors of us. He sends us particular, uh, uh, particles of his light. Though his body suffers, his mind lingers on us. Let us therefore nourish him with the light of our souls. The faithful worshipping emperor is under great many names, after great many uh, uh, fashions, and yet I do not like this prayer. Put your hands up, take off the hood, and don't make any sudden movements. With a pale hand, he throws back the hood. You see an ugly face with flat white nose, disproportionately large. Eyeless eyes with enormous pupils. Standing before you is an abdominal subhuman and mutant. Welcome on board the nourishers. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Ready your weapons. Now you know that even mutants can be pleasant looking, while others downright freakish in appearance. Who are you? Lactosio, Clavinus of the Nourishers of the Afflicted. I am he who speaks to our Progiator. The ship belongs to me. What were you muttering? I was praising, praising the Emperor uh, Prognitor so that my brothers and sisters might repeat the sacred words with me. Under stars unknown, he keeps us vigil. Blah 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 blah. Everything is purple. I can see. Do we mean our god, the master of terror who sits atop the golden throne, or a blasphemous pity deity of whatever cult you're in? I know no god but the Emperor Prognator. Uh, others are either figments or ephemeral flashes spirits. Do you believe in the god Emperor, the protector of mankind, who dwells on holy terror? Make your answers forthright or unclear, for I stand before you and his chosen servants, and this rogue trader has been anointed by him. The man only responds in a mocking grin. I see, a blasphemer. Understand this to be a, a trap? Indeed, afflicted one, you have nowhere to run. 
May the grace of the Progniator be upon you. His words are piercing, and become a shrill echo of a hundred voices, minds growing even louder. Beal will die screaming! You hear a clanging echo growing louder in the empty modules like hundreds of clawing stri uh, striking bulkheads and grabbing onto bars. Whoever is advancing upon you, there are a lot of them. You ought to run for your life before the trap uh, before they trap you in this cramped vox cabin. Countless foes and cumbersome positions, O Emperor, I thank thee for giving us another chance to taste the sweetness of battle. Make a dash for the Vox cast and listen. The Vox spirit uh, spits out a torrent of statics through which, uh, nonetheless, you manage to catch a fragment of words. One valent command lock. The signal is lost before you manage to say anything. We must get out. Uh, plan your retreat. If you had a few hours to explore the ship, you surely would have uh, found any numbers of discreet shafts. As you are, you're only aware of a single possible escape route, route through the airlocks back the way you came in. Optimal retreat route uh, calculate. We gotta go. Your gaze fails, uh, falls on a rune covered control panel. A green lumen burns. Engage airlock seal switch. The switch uh, sockets are corroded and does not immediately yield to your touch. Uh, but the lumen changes color uh, to blood red, and the whirring of deactivated airlocks rises up from the depths of the ship. <sighs> Rate of fire 10. Heavy stubber. Is that better than your current weapon? Heavy bolter. No, the heavy stubber just has a higher rate of fire. But not as much damage. Our armor penetration with the heavy bolter is better. For the Emperor! Gene Stealer. Oh, oh. We are... Oh boy, we're in a really, really tough spot. Oh boy, now I do understand why why good old um, Heinrichs was in such a in such a dangerous uh, mood. Alright, starting the battle. Heinrichs. Let's see to it. No. Plus this and this and everybody gets the word of the Emperor going. Not a servitor. I'm afraid not. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. How many hit points does that thing have? 600, okay, 500, okay. Isn't this a job for the well, staffs? now he only has 400, thanks to reducing... Reducing I his hit points. Around. 
If I may. Abelard. Moves in and it will be done. We're good. All right, uh, we're moving to the back line. Nice little hundred points of damage, reducing his his attack damage. Yep, I figured exactly that that would happen. Look at that, new gene stealer. Doubt is for the weak. Rejoice in battle. Not cool. Not good at all. But of course, Lord Captain. Everyone, step aside. I won't object to it. This guy parries. Self heal. A little bit more strength, and we're good. We need to get out of here, the airlock. At your back and call. Knowing these creatures, that will be difficult. I will do my duty. One step closer. All right, um, can't hit them. I need no guidance. I will, but triumph. I can let Cassia very much hit them. Isn't this a job for the sex? not to cross my gaze. Good, we're moving through that middle room. Sigan gets another buff. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And what, are, what else are we going to do? Um, I think we're just going to deal a bit of damage to the gene stealer. more hits and as we're killing them more of them are coming 
Typical Gene Sealer fashion. I'll do it. This time they are over here. Good, Pascal makes up as close as he can. Uh, Pascal, yeah. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of speed ups for him. We haven't even seen how these guys are hitting. The Emperor is on our side. Let's see to it. Alright, move up. It will be done. That, that. I will do Another hit. Gene Stealer hits are great. It will be done. And let's taunt them to attack us directly. Purpose guides me. That's unfortunate. Can't even reach the guy. Hmm. This is unacceptable. Yeah, nope, not happening. One step closer. I have read tomes All right, of move to here. Tactics. Let that gene sealer move there. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Victory is in an exemplary strike. Abelard charges up and uh, builds up the front line there. If only that were possible. If I may. Pascal is the slowest one. Hmm. Not sure if I like what I'm seeing. Because if he is so slow, the enemies of the we Emperor risk will be uh, losing him. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Heinrichs moves up. Strikes, charges for the throne's glory. I need a foothold, but of course, Lord Captain. Yeah. Try 
tried and tested tactics are the best ones. You know what? Might as well. I will do my duty. It will be done. For Von Valencius. Might as well move to here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's actually a clever design. They don't let you play it out. Gene stealers are scary though. They are scary. Okay, let's see what the other planets hold. Seven plat steel. Nice try game, but we have so much plat steel, we don't need more. A small planet gently wrapped in the ember forest greets you with a ruby colored down. Local governor gives you the rogue trader a warm welcome. Um, all right, accept the offer for a hunt. After several hours of riding the local uh, peculiar animals, you may camp in the middle of a golden forest. Um, the forest grows silent and empty. The governor nods with satisfaction a few sharp uh, steps into the clearing. Uh, their bodies are twisted with an unknown phenomenon and you watch the freaks with astonishment as they begin to dance and throaty clacking of the brethren turning the bony growth and pulsating flesh of their scaly hands towards the um, unnatural thing in the sky what's going on Basil of the Clutch excitedly explains that the creatures you saw are the children of the King of Distortion. Once, once every cycle, his carriage shines the light upon the world and transforms the most ardent follower. Senior officers observe suspicious activity emanating from the twisted celestial body. Uh, mm at the heart of the system. Hmm. The officers on the bridge, uh, bridge look around and I think we've gotten ourselves into trouble. Alright, command the entity to release the minds of the Ember Worlders from its grip. Attack the enemy. Uh, the entity furiously, you feel the grip of uh, the invisible wind blow a thousand blades right uh, through your ship. Officers collapse to your feet. See? It was a demon all along. Just find ourselves somewhere else in the galaxy. Wow. It pushed us all the way from up here to here. Whatever it was, it doesn't want to play around. All right, this is a good, a good enough uh, ending for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We're going to explore the rest the next time. That was an unfortunate ending. 
but it is what it is. Thanks for watching, see you later, and have a good one. Bye-bye.